how you guys doing? Your general here. And I hope I don't get a lot of flack on this, but I'm actually gonna, just going to put it out there. Can you see it right here? What that says? Let's see. Uh, let me move this forward. Uh, another modest proposal. Another modest proposal. Well, does that mean that there was a proposal before it? Yes, it does. Jonathan Swift, 1729, wrote an essay called A Modest Proposal. Mine is called Another Modest Proposal. I'm going to get to what I'm talking about here. A Modest Proposal written back in 1729 by Jonathan Swift. He wrote it to the politicians and the elites and the landowners of his time because the Irish parliament was being so burdensome on the poor to the point that the farmers were not able to, or the people of the land were not able to um, feed their children. Um, and because of this, Jonathan Swift wrote an essay and it was um, a satirical Essay. A lot of literary scholars today consider uh, Swift's essay as one of the first pieces of um, political satire that highlighted the injustices of, of, of his time. And, and he wrote it as a hyperbole and a metaphor to help, you know, the elites in the parliament at that time to realize, hey, y'all are doing more damage to the people than help. Um, so. Having said that, I thought, dude, you can write because of the things that are going on today, especially with our children, right? The things that they're doing and promoting the ideologies that they're uh, allowing them to adopt and to run with and to have a freedom with. It's like, wow, really? Um, I should write another modest proposal with an absurd solution to it just to highlight that we're going in the wrong direction here uh, with our kids and, and the things that uh, we're allowing them to be taught in school. Hey, listen, General Lyon, out, raw. Another modest proposal coming soon.